Good morning, welcome to another video. As you can see behind me, down the Y. Been quite a bit down the Y lately. Been really, really enjoying it this year. We've been plenty of guiding. Today, um, I'm here with a special guest. The pleasure of the company of Nigel Botherway today. Nigel's just down here, so you'll be seeing him in the video. On the cards today is some barbel fishing. The river looks in cracking condition. We've got a couple of meters of water on. It's a lovely color. What we're gonna do is, um, we've dropped into this swim here. We've got a double swim in here dropped a bit of bait in some pellets and some hemp and um, we're going to fish just this crease on the inside line for now see how we get on if we're doing well obviously we're going to stick in here we've got a couple of other swims we can move to well there's plenty of swims but a couple of other double swims we can move into should we wish my gear today i've got my um, dower power mesh two and a quarter pound tesco of rod there's a bit of water on I thought it'd perhaps be a little bit undergunned with a pound and three quarters, so I've gone with two and a quarter. My GSBR LT 5000 reel. Uh, I'll stick all the information on everything I'm using down in the description below. I think uh, if you've seen previous videos, you'll know I've been using the method to quite good effect down here. So it's not banging through too fast. So I think I might have a little go on the method, not the method proper. We'll, we'll fish a method feeder with a, with a bait just below. We'll see if they're attacking the feeder and we'll take things from there. Right, I'm going to get down here and have a crack. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny talking about fish like that. I was talking to a couple of chaps I took guiding this year who fished with Trent a lot. Yeah. And we were talking about the method. And I said, you want to give it a try on the Trent? He said, no way. He said, all we do is catch bream. <laughs> I was like, no, fair enough. <laughs> I don't mind a bit of bream fishing, but I don't mind a bit of bream fishing when I'm bream fishing. <laughs> no, that's right. gonna hold well we've had a couple of hours in there with a few knocks but not a lot happening so we're gonna have a move a little bit further up the stretch i think to a swim i primed about an hour ago i remember going back to the doctor since and you know you're allergic to anything and i said oh i've got to the bottom of well i was having all this trouble and i, I explained all oh, right well we we'll do some tests we'll get you to go back on gluten for one day and we'll, we'll check it and i was like no you're all right thanks yeah, <laughs> I'm absolutely fine. <laughs> but I know it's that because <laughs> I've occasionally accidentally eaten some gluten. And, well, for example, <laughs> my uh, I was going fishing and my missus said, oh, I'll do some food before you go. I was like, oh, yeah, great, okay. This is, I was only going for the evening sort of thing. And then she chucks a plate of food in front of me and a couple of slices of bread. And I'm like, oh, we must have some gluten-free bread fine you know so i ate this bread and then literally five minutes i'm sweating oh, God. and i said where did you get this bread from she said you put it on the side i thought you wanted it with your dinner i was like no that's for fishing oh, <laughs> oh. so i was like oh god I, oh hello oh you in? we're in oh i think it might be a chub <laughs> Sandwich got us a bite. <laughs> well, it's been a wait for this one, but we're in. Well, I thought it was chub, but I think it might have changed. <sighs> Nigel was just saying, if he, if he breaks out his sandwiches, we'll get a bite, and it worked. <laughs> it's like when you're kids. As you cut between your legs and pouring your flask, you get a bite. <laughs> Or is it a chub? It is a chub, I'm making a meal of it. Nice chub. Hey, we're off the mark. Well done, that big old chub. <laughs> when they've got that open, yeah. very aerodynamic. No, like a windsock. <laughs> well, how's about that? Not the barbel we're after, but it's a start. It's been, uh, it's been tough going this morning. Not had much action at all, but swim number two. And uh, hopefully, Hopefully things will come good. If not, we'll get on our toes again. How you can have a lake with no seagull in... Oh. That's it. Yep. We in? Yeah. Hey. You can have a lake with no seagull in sight 
and the minute they hear a catapult elastic, they all appear, don't yeah. they? Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is a barbel. Yeah? Yeah. Ugh. There's no, I don't think you'll snag you around there. There's nowhere to snag. It should be all right. There's only the actual bank itself. Mind you, I've just said that, haven't I? Jinx bit. Something. There's nothing, yeah, there's nothing too. Uh, all right. I've got four wheel drive. Oh, that's Mr. Chubb. Fish, but it's a fish, it's a start, he's a decent one as well, isn't he? Oh. Got him! Nice Off the mark! <laughs> Bit tricky in here, guys, but there you go. <laughs> Congratulations, mate. That's a nice one, that is. He's got belly on him as well. Yeah. It's only worth sitting on this um, black run, as you call it. <laughs> if, if you're actually catching some fish. Yeah, and I feel bad that you're not fishing. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, mate. Like I say, I'm back in two days. I'm, I'm guiding it again, but it's... I'm kind of used to it these days, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I don't, think, I don't think we're going to do any good here, to be honest with you. We would have by now. Yeah, yeah. We'd have had, it, we'd have had a fish by now. A barbel, I mean. Well, the sun is blazing, as you can see. Um, it's been hard going today. We've had one chub each so far. It's sort of mid-afternoon and uh, we're sort of making our way back down the stretch. The swim further up that's usually good for a bite off a barbel. We didn't get a bite off a barbel in, so it's a bit concerning because they're definitely in there. So they're clearly not that up for it today, unfortunately, but uh, we should keep at it and uh, hopefully, hopefully we can have one each. Well, as you can see, the, uh, the sun is starting to set. It's, uh, it's been tough going today, really tough going, unfortunately. We just dropped into, it's probably, we're probably gonna make this the last swim, just dropped in, into a swim here. Just a nice steady glide through, really, just in the hope of dropping on some barbel, that's the plan. We've uh, fished the swims, or certainly one of the swims we fished this morning, we revisited a few knocks, and that was it. So, as I say, we're just hoping that we can drop on some fish rather than them coming to work with us, which they don't seem to want to do. We can go to them. So we've dropped into a, a fresh swim for the last half an hour or so. You know, one pound chub, a half pound chub. You'd think the barber would not be far away and think, what's going on over there? Yeah. I'll have some of that. And I don't think it's not, oh, that's gonna Ooh. go, that's gonna. That's gonna get us on, isn't it? You on? Wee! Get out of the way. <laughs> That's a good food, right? You? They're like nutting the feeder. But when they're, yeah, pull, you know it's not nutting the feeder. Yeah, yeah. I'm still not saying whether this is a chub. <laughs> but it's a fish. It it's was a fish. It's shopping in here. It's probably a chub. Fish. That might be a barbel. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, that was uh, no, it's a chub, isn't it? I think Didn't just quite. saw his fin. Yeah, it's a still, it's still a fish. Is it a nice one? Hey! Nice one. Worth dropping in there. Well, Nick, worth dropping into that swim, wasn't it? Was. First cast and a bite. Slip this one back and see if there's a barbel there. Hopefully, hopefully there will be. It's uh, like you say, first cast. Yeah, they Fingers all count. Crossed. Yeah, lovely bite. Wasn't going to miss that, gave me about two <laughs> weeks' notice. Go on, you. Fab. Nice, nice one, mate. One. Fantastic. Well, I've still thoroughly enjoyed it. Well, that's good. I have two. Shame we couldn't cap it off with a whiskered one or two. I'll just give this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's tapping away. Turn your feeder. Oh, in the bucket? Yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah, cheers. And I've got your hook link here. I'll give you that back. Oh, you can keep it, mate. Don't worry. Leave it hooked up. You sure? Yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to call it a day there. It's been a tough one, isn't it? A bit it of a has. grueler, but what can you do? If they're not having it, they're not having it. We've thrown everything out in the kitchen sink at them, haven't we? It's hard to put your finger on it. It looks perfect. You yeah. know, another day you'd be wrapping around and catching loads. You're just, that's fishing. Yeah, so we've, as you can see, the sun's just setting, but we 
we decided we're not going to try and bore them out any longer. <laughs> okay. I've got a long drive home. You've got, and you, I've got a long drive home. So yeah, we're going to we're going to leave it there. But uh, all there is left to do. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Tight lines. Enjoy your own angling. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your fantastic support. And I'll see you again very soon.